you know, a big part of looking sexy is staying hydrated, and that's where Liquid IV comes in. The hot summer months are here, and we need to be proactive to keep our bodies fueled up and hydrated. Making hydration a priority helps us feel healthier on a day-to-day basis and fuels us to be our highest potential. One stick of Liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. And not only that, but it comes in great flavors like watermelon, my favorite, strawberry, and lemon lime. Sounds like summer, don't it? Uh, They sent us a bunch of liquid IV, and at first I was like, whoa, what the F is this? I put some in water, and every day at the office now, that's what I drink. Because it gets me hydrated way faster, and it also tastes really good. It's healthier than those sugary sports drinks, and there's no artificial flavors or preservatives, and less sugar than an apple. But what makes it so effective, Matthew? Uh, Well, it's called cellular transport technology. It's the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium that delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream faster than ever. So grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code SUPERMEGA at checkout. That's 25 5% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code SUPERMEGA at liquidiv.com. Hello, everyone. Um, this week's episode will be a bit different. And uh, basically, Matt is not here uh, currently, and we don't know when he will be back because he is busy fighting a court case in some state. I honestly can't remember. I, I'm, I'm not that interested, um, especially since it fucks us over with ad reads. But... Uh, I'm here and we have our guest, um, Matt Watson. So let's, uh, welcome, uh, the co-host, uh, until Matt gets back, uh, we'll just, we'll have Matthew on. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, of course. And you are the, you know, part-time co-host now, so feel free to be as comfortable as you want, uh, okay. just until Matt gets back. I've, well, I've never done a podcast before, but yeah. I'm, I'm more than willing to, you know, try it out while Matt's gone and, you know. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, it's not too awkward. Hopefully it goes well. I don't think it will be. You seem like a stand-up guy. Thanks, man. Thank so, you. What have you been up to this week? Um, this week? Uh, oh, welcome. Sorry, it's the two episode 254. 254. Yeah, you that's, knew it. That's a See, lot of you, 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 you did your research before getting on. Oh, yeah. I, I knew it because, you know, I actually have listened to every episode from episode one of oh, uh, your podcast, the one you do with Matt, and it's, oh, thanks, I gotta man. say, man, it's some funny stuff. Thank you, but sorry, uh, what, what have you been up to this week? Um, let's see, so I've been waiting on a desk to show up at my at my house for, for months, and- It came by, I thought I saw- It, it did, it oh, finally, it okay, showed up, okay. so I, I put it together, and then I- uh, It's a really nice desk. I was, in my master bedroom was where my bedroom was, and mm-hmm. then I also have a guest bedroom that was my studio, but the guest bedroom's a little small- So I swapped. I made the guest bedroom my bedroom, and I made the master bedroom my studio for editing and making making tunes and shit. And uh, that was an all day thing of taking my bed apart. And it was a big swip, uh, swip, switcheroo. Switcheroo, Yeah, and that desk was heavy as fuck, and it did not come with instructions. No, you just figured it out. Yeah, Uh, and I mean, were the pieces kind of? Oh yeah, I mean, it was it was it was pretty easy. The hardest part though is like so the there's a slide out part. Mm -hmm. underneath that I put my my uh keyboard like my piano keyboard on so I can like slide it in and out uh and that has to go on two tracks like a drawer tracks I had no idea how to get that thing on there because it was like 60 pounds too so I was like it took me probably two hours just to get that on but it was worth it when I did it was it it was the best feeling when you when you saw it all just perfect it's a great desk I love it it's by uh I think it's called AZ studios or something I still have that old desk you gave me my current desk right the one that I use at my yes that's the one that I had uh at my nice desk how long have you had that whenever you gave it to me did I give it to you like in the last few years or was that like old old I think that's I've been living in this place for a for that, a little bit. That's this that desk is the one that I think I used at our old apartment we shared. Okay. Edited okay. some of the first super mega videos on. It's a relic. And you never and you didn't bring it when you moved into your old place. No, I actually just bought the desk again, I think. Okay. Because I'd already given you that one. Mm-hmm. So then I got rid of it though. It's too it's a nice desk. It's from IKEA. It's just too clunky, man. I want more like open air now. I used to like desks that were very like compact and uh kind of like a battle station. I still yeah. like that, but like I like having like breathable room with the desk now, like kind of minimal. There's one way I would have to change the setup because I like having my computer screen a little closer to my face, especially when I'm in gamer mode. Because mm-hmm. I noticed like it was it was different for me editing with like the screen a bit further. Away. Yeah, it is. It is a little bit far away with that desk because it's like there's like a riser that I put the monitor on and there's a lot of desk space in front of me. Yeah. So it's farther away. I also consider getting like a flat screen TV and mounting that on the wall Ooh. and making that the monitor. 
Then you're always just looking yeah. right up at that motherfucker. I don't know. What do you think about that idea? I like the monitor on the wall. Hmm. Hmm. Or if you wanted to, you could have the computer still have a monitor on the wall because you're going to be watching TV and movies there anyways. So it's like have the monitor on the wall so you can always switch and show people. Okay, this is what I just did. Boop. Switch and show people. Or people oh. can be watching something, entertaining themselves while, swap it over. while you're doing something. Well, I edit on a Mac and Apple has AirPlay. So I can actually just share my screen onto the TV, which I just figured out recently, and that's super cool. I do. Justin showed me that. He's like, what are you doing? Like, I feel like whenever Justin visits, he teaches me some new fangled way to use my technology that I just didn't. Because before I would just use my Xbox, go to the YouTube app, and then, like, type it. If I wanted to watch stuff on my TV, I just, you know, for each letter I wanted to search for. But then Justin's like, oh. You can just, uh, your your TV, right? You have, like, the smart TV? I'm like, yeah. He's like, just uh, airplay it to your TV. I'm like, wait, I can do yeah. that? And so now I just, I just write from my phone, just boop, boop. When I figured it's that out, it was great. Especially when you have, like, people chilling over. I can just That's keep doing videos. That's existed for years. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I... You guys heard of Bluetooth? This is, <laughs> I know. But, like, I, I didn't ever think of doing that. I was always, like, stubborn, or not, stu not stubborn, just stupid. When I, I just always just one letter at a time and for my Xbox. you can have multiple time. phones hooked up at once. So yeah. what I'll do is when I have friends over, what we can all connect and we can all add like videos Q to the queue. Stuff. Yeah. I like that. Like the queue is really nice. What Jackson and I would, would do is we would uh, go do one of those nights where we just would get drunk and go down YouTube finding new videos where we would search terms like, uh, like rant or yeah. like I hate my brother or something and then sort by newest <laughs> and the videos you get are incredible because you'll get or like if you search cover you get great things <laughs> well and that's what I do for a lot of we'll our videos I'll, I'll like I'll search for covers of songs and then I'll go to like the newest ones so it's like the ones that people are just uploading so it's <laughs> So it's usually not the ones that have been filtered and pushed to the top not at all it's no. ones that are like less than a day old that with zero views <laughs> It's like karaoke versions of them singing. I, I try. Oh, <laughs> the NASCAR ever... video originally. Oh yeah, had a cover, but the cover was apparently too good. It was a yeah. It got copyright claimed. It was a cover of My Immortal by this <laughs> this one person we found, and it was it was perfect. It was it was, it was but really the, funny. The, the the song in general still. I think the NASCAR video turned out wonderfully. Great, fantastic. You know? But. Little did we know when we went on that trip to the NASCAR thing that an even grander adventure would have been would be bestowed upon us because this is several podcasts in this is old news but for us we just released the Hooters vlog today. We took a fan to Hooters. If you guys yeah. well for those who haven't seen it yet that are listening to the podcast uh, maybe you haven't seen our videos just on the podcast go check out we took a fan to Hooters because it's a good example of our shit. Yeah, of, of of our live action content, the stuff that we used to do more of. LOL. I think we Lamau. do more of it now, actually. I feel like in the very beginning, it felt like we were just constantly like releasing stuff. But yeah, in the very beginning. Yeah. Actually, I went back and looked, and it wasn't that much. It I wasn't it as just, much as we thought. It just feels like a lot more in terms of live action. Yeah. Um, or like we'd add. No, we still add live action. Like we added live action in uh, the Sonic Adventure two playthrough we still have live with action. the poo poo it, camera. I think like with mail videos and such and shit, we've been releasing more the live. Poo poo camera is always just such poo -poo a great, great idea. Dude. You know, I clicked on that fucking episode six finale of Sonic, <laughs> and I watched the first like thirty seconds, and it was just vile because it's literally just you can just hear yourself like shitting just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can hear it and spray I, I saw, like, into the I toilet. Comment, someone's like, I just sat down with my Burger King meal <laughs> and I put this on and now I can't even eat it. And I was like, <laughs> it's your fault for eating while watching Super Mega. Exactly. You never know what to expect. Mm -hmm. We're so uh, we're so zany. You we're know? just a little bit random. <laughs> a little zany. There might be some poo-poo humor that, you know, those fourth graders do love. I like when people say they just divert to poo-poo humor now. When it's like, where have you been since episode one of, like, Super Mega? <laughs> yeah, it's like when, when people's like, they just do, you know, just like, it's just poop jokes. Or like, like poop humor, like toilet jokes. It's like, dude, go back to, to 2016. It's literally the exact, it, probably, it was probably worse it's than like 2016. It's like more of your mom than so now, I would say. Yeah, like there's like you go back 2016. There's the your mom jokes. There's the poop jokes. Well, we still got those, you know. Yeah, so you know it's like not much has changed, um, except you know, unfortunately, Matt with the court case. Yes, but you were so kind to kind of pick up the slack on that one. So, yeah, that again, one. anytime, man. You're really help. You're really helping us out with uh, anytime ad reads and stuff. Yeah, anytime, man. You know, but we're not gonna do them yet. 
No, or I, our own personal I, break I, is I, I put in. Who knows where? Who knows where they put the breaks in? Yeah, could I, be I, in the middle of us talking. I sometime. don't know where they throw ads in. I know that like we say like, all right, it's required to be like, all right, time for ads, and then yeah. they play our ads. I don't know if they, if they put other ones in. I don't know where those go. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't interrupt. Today's episode of the Super Mega Cast is sponsored by Hennessy. Have you been feeling down in the dirt? You know I, something that's going to make you happier, Matt? Tell them all about it. If there's one thing that makes me less depressed when I'm feeling down, it's alcohol, straight from the bottle. And Hennessy is a great way to get there quick. Don't waste time on beer or cocktails or wine. You can just drink Hennessy straight from the bottle and get rid of those sads. It goes down like butter, and I couldn't ask for anything sweeter and smoother to drink as I'm sad and depressed alone in my club. So go ahead, crack a bottle of Hennessy, and chug that shit down. Okay, so I guess that's the first ad read yeah. out of the way. Yeah, so we're done with that one. Um, Can we sometimes, like, with the I was real, just thinking. Like, with the real ads, put in, like, our own fake ads, so people like- I thought of one the other day that was- Is that allowed? <laughs> it never said no. Oh, uh, man, you uh, hear the news about George Lopez? What happened? You didn't hear? No. You didn't hear. Oh, God. He's not dead. No, he's not dead. It's worse, though. It's worse than dead? Yeah. Is he canceled? He's too funny. Oh, whew. There's no there's no breaking news about George Lopez, except that he's too funny. I actually, there is. I just saw this in the news today, Ryan. Uh, wait, let me find it. It is warrant issued for ex-Disney star Kyle Massey. After oh, I saw that. But that's not, that's not George Lopez. George Lopez is resting happy with his... In the Beautiful grave, yeah. kidney. In his grave in the grave with no, his no, kidneys. No, no, he didn't go into the grave because of the of his new kidney. Did he get a new kidney? Yeah. From the uh, ex wife he was cheating on. He got it and he said, I got this. You know about that. No, I don't. He he had some sort of condition, he was gonna die or some shit like that. And then his his wife at the time gave him her kidney so he could live and live a wonderful life. And then he just cheated on her. After uh, the kidney? Yeah. <laughs> But you know then, but you know, it was before, during, and after, probably. Come on, George. <laughs> George. She gave you her fucking kidney. Yeah, if she at least does that, you know. Yeah, I'd be like, all right, I won't cheat on this one. I'll, yeah. I'll at least break up with her or get divorced first. Think they signed a prenup? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> he doesn't. He has to give the kidney back. <laughs> <laughs> like, sit, like, that's part of the, in the divorce, like, <laughs> argument. Like, she. <laughs> that is that. That's what he's saying. That's George Lopez's his final words. on his words. arm and goes, she. Angie, <laughs> Angie, Zoomer George Lopez. Sheesh, Angie. <laughs> That's a lit Angie. Dude, what's Max up to these days? Mofo? He passed no, away. No, no, not Max Mofo. Oh, the kid that played Max. Yes. I remember there's like a whole arc where he was like pissing his sheets or something. <laughs> yeah, he wet the bed, and yeah. then Carmen was making fun of him. But it was because he, or the grandma was making fun of him. The grandma was mean. She was awful, man. I hope she that was a bad dies. mother. But she sometimes there would be episodes. Where she would say something really nice. And it would be, see, I like the Lopez, George Lopez show because, uh, you know, it's, I love sitcoms that are funny, but then they have those times where it's like, oh, man. Fresh Prince did it, Full House. They Malcolm always, in the Middle did a great have those job moments at it. Where it's like, no, we're real television. We're telling stories. Malcolm in the Middle did it so emotions. well. Well, Malcolm in the Middle, like, I feel like is the one where I don't feel like a weird feeling whenever they're doing it. Yeah. Because whenever a sitcom does it, except for, Fresh Prince does it well, I think. Sometimes, sometimes it's just like With the dad thing. Yeah, the dad thing was really good. Got but hairs like, on my arm standing. I didn't up. like the part where like and I know it's a famous episode, but like when uh Carlton gets a gun and Will finds out and he's like, he got a gun because of me. Yeah, yeah, because I think was Carlton. Wait, was Carlton shot or did Carlton get Carlton a gun? was strapped? No, Will Smith was shot. Or something got put in the hospital. Got put in the hospital for something, but then Carlton got a gun. God, no! He just he just finds like all he just finds all this stuff that Carlton has in a closet, like a bunch of sawed off shotguns, like ammunition, and like a, I think I think Carlton with, just pulls up and shows him in the hospital. He's like, "Look at this," or something. Let me see it. It's Carl just a sawed off. <laughs> Carlton. Carlton, I read your no I read your journal, it's, and it's got a lot of stuff about Columbine in there. Don't worry, Will. Just for protection. I didn't know that they this hug. Is that? Oh, so they're hugging. And he feels it. <laughs> what is that? <gasps> it's a gun. 
Carl, are you out of your mind, man? You walking around carrying a gun? What do you think you're going to do with that? It's for protection. Carlton, Carl, well, man, what do you do? You think it's that easy to just shoot somebody? Yes. my eyes. What the hell? What the fuck? You just threw off the tray. You never... I saw this late at night one night. I was like, what the fuck? Dude, I love like the the audience laughing though, like not sure if they're supposed to be laughing or not. I was gonna eat that, man. <laughs> but wait, hold up. My father! Now give me the gun, Carlton. See he's tearing up. Give me the gun! I saved your life! I want the gun! Other. He's pointing it at Will. Whoa! Oh no! Holy fuck! Will's remember. pulling one out too. <gasps> whoa, whoa! Okay, I didn't. I don't remember that happening. But like, isn't that like surreal? Hearing that, it's like, what is that? It's a gun, Will. And it's like silent. <laughs> and when he like flips the trays, and everyone laughs. <laughs> Dude, it's a. Uh, <laughs> but then, aren't the nurses just gonna give me the gun, Carlton? Aren't the nurses just gonna come in? He's gonna have a gun. <laughs> like, here's your apple so <laughs> He's just in there strapped. <laughs> He's, he just has to hide it. He has to sit on it the whole time. Just looks like he has an erection. <laughs> it's like it's like a, a, a little like goofy comedy thing. One time he has to hide the gun goes off, the and then all of a sudden, like, the nurses turn around, and then he's like, "Ah, oh, you know how it is." <laughs> <laughs> Been eating a lot of protein. Happens. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you. You honey's looking fine. Because he called them honeys a lot, if you remember. Remember, Carlton, you and I are going to get some honeys. Oh, yeah, we are, Will. And he pulls the gun out. <laughs> That's not what Carlton sounds like. <laughs> Take it da, easy, cuz. Da, 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 da. Oh, are you talking about Paul Walker? Take it easy, cuz. He's like, what, what does he say? Forget about it, cuz. For, yeah, forget I told about you, forget about it, cuz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. Dude, I just remember. I love, I love that that exists. Forget about it, cuz. Like, he said it. It was shot and filmed, put through the editing. It was first written, though, but like it went through all those stages, and then it ended up in theaters, and I'm so glad it did. Yes. I'm so glad it made it through all of that process without being like, mm. <laughs> you know? Like, they cut several scenes out of that movie, because they, they always forget about it, cut. With like, this is good, this is good <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, I Forget about it, cut. I was just <laughs> laughing, because I, I was remembering the, remember the video of like the FBI agent dancing at the party, and he does like a flip, and his gun falls out of his pants and fires. <laughs> And it shoots somebody. <laughs> well, he's not like in uniform at the. It's not like. Yeah, but he does, like if he does like a flip and his gun <laughs> falls out. Doesn't it shoots somebody? Right? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it goes off. There's a like, lot of those videos of people like shooting off guns at like weddings and just ending up killing someone. Yeah, because what goes up must come down. <laughs> so you shoot. It's not it. even. It's not the bullet coming back down. Like the gun will fire like this. They're going straight up, but then it'll start to go to the right because it's a fucking gun and they can't control the recoil that well. I saw a video of a, of a dude doing that, like like shooting, shooting like it with someone friends. in the head. Yeah, and he uh, like he like fumbles his grip and just poof, like three dudes. And it's like, well, you shouldn't play with guns. Shouldn't, you unless know? it's you know. Unless, the, yeah. you know, sometimes it can be, f I actually, I'm not, I do like, uh, I do like guns. I do like shooting guns. It is fun. Shooting, like a handgun is, is, is very, I would like to get a handgun actually. Go dance, monkey dance. I'm gonna go to the zoo with my handgun and point it at the, <laughs> at the bonobos and see what they do. See, they're not, dude, they can't tell on you. What are they mm -hmm. gonna tell the zookeeper? They don't speak up. English. Dude, would it make national news if I brought a gun to the zoo and I just went and shot the monkeys? <laughs> like, from, like, the, it, like, viewing That'd area? That would be a horrible fucking... Like, guys, watch this! Pa pa, And they'd all go hooting and hollering and running. Ex-Markiplier editor. <laughs> Slaughter <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> like, six years onwards, that's what they're, like... More editor than six for Markiplier. Wait, no, it hasn't been, hasn't been more than six years. How long has it been? Uh, I moved out here six years... Since we were in the firm grip of child star <laughs> Mark Fishbach. Six years from two weeks from... Two day, two weeks from, uh, two days ago is when I moved out here. Okay, and that'll be six years. <clears throat> Damn, why that was crazy, man. So when I I've been thinking about that a lot lately. I'm like, I've been out here six years. That's wait, I've been out here six and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you just came out shortly after me. You came out February fifth. I came out July twenty sixth. Yep, yep, yep. I remember this shit. And then when my friend Christian moved out here, coincidentally, he moved out here same day as me, <sighs> on the five year anniversary. 
So. And now he's having a good time. <clears throat> Dude, I just remember. How's Christian doing? Y'all finished your uh, he's doing good, D&D man. campaign recently. He's been streaming a lot. He made a VTuber. I uh, I was just, I remembered this and I forgot. So I've told the story about the pot brownie, right? Yeah. On the podcast. Wait, which, which story of the pot brownie? In college when Jackson and I put a bunch of oregano in a brownie and I like mashed oh, it up and yeah. I put it in some tinfoil. But you haven't told it in a long time, I feel. Well, we gave it, I, I bought a brownie from our, our like freshman dorm, like, uh, like food area. And, you know, we, none of us had smoked weed before. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I got a bunch of oregano and I like, I, I poured it into it and like mixed it up. So it looked like, you know, it had you, some it was like baked into it. Or yeah. Whatever. And then I molded it back into the shape of the brownie, wrapped it in tin foil. And I came upstairs. I was like, yo, Christian, yo, <laughs> dude, check it out. We, we scored a weed. But brownie. the thing is, no one thinks that their friend is going to go through that much effort to fuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> like, and he was like, oh shit. And we're like, right, let's do it, man. So me and Jackson and Christian all ate it, and Christian ate like half. And then, like, it couldn't have been good because there's oregano in it. No, of course not. <laughs> so you, you, you even have to eat it, and you're like, oh, I think I spit dude. it out when he wasn't looking. But, <laughs> uh, like 20, 20, 30 minutes in, he's like, oh man, I'm feeling it. And then the rest of the night, we were just watching as he was like, like giggling to himself and like, Oh man, because placebo effects is is real. It's real strong. But he we never we never told him. He found out because someone ratted years later after I moved out to LA and he called me about it. Was but he like, hey? He's like, so, what the fuck? I heard about the brownie. <laughs> no, he goes. He goes. He calls me and he's like quiet. And he's like, so remember when we ate that pot brownie? And I was like, uh oh. <laughs> You're some like, fucking, yeah. Some fucking kid named Michael. You never Smith. told him. I love that you never told him. I wanted to, I have a picture from that night where he's like, he couldn't stop laughing because he was high and he has like his hands on his hips, like, like standing up laughing. And I have that picture still. It's fantastic. <laughs> but we actually did something very similar again recently where it was his birthday and we got a bunch of beers, but we bought him 0% Heineken, <laughs> non-alcoholic beer. And we were just drinking regular beers, <laughs> but pretending to drink the Heineken. So did the placebo work again? No, not okay. this time. Was he like, uh, maybe so he learned after the first time. He crushes like- To just th- be honest. Like- <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's his birthday night. He's trying. To, he's trying to have fun. Three and a half of those in. He looks at all of us. He's like, "You guys feel drunk at all?" And I was like, "Yeah, man, I'm pretty drunk." And he's like, "I just don't really feel drunk. It's weird." And it, my favorite part is on the can. It says zero, huge, <laughs> and he just keeps drinking. I think he drank four of them before he realized that they were non-alcoholic. And then he's like, "This sucks because now I've wasted. Like, I'm not." in the mood for more beer because I just had four <laughs> just, but they were non-alcoholic <laughs> yeah he's like I got all those calories and shit for nothing uh, so we injected him with pure grain alcohol no! it was pretty cool if you inject someone with pure grain alcohol you know it skips the liver so you can get really drunk and I urge everyone to try it uh, isn't that what happened when you put uh, the tampon in your ass soaked in alcohol doesn't it bypass soaked in your virgin's liver? blood that shit's good. That shit gets you a different type of high. But you know how people will do this shit where they'll put the tampon on their ass that's soaked in vodka? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that bypasses your liver, right? It goes straight to your bloodstream. Ain't good. Because when you drink alcohol, your liver breaks it down and puts it into your bloodstream. But, right? But That's how they would assassinate people back in the day. They'd slip in at night and slip a little pill up, up their rump. That's how we got Castro. That son of a bitch. <laughs> He was asleep one night, and we stuck a, a little cyanide pill up his ass. No, we just we just p- took a shot glass and poured it into his ass, and then he got too drunk and died. <laughs> I watched a uh, documentary recently about a frat uh, that was doing hazing, mm-hmm. um, and there was this kid. Where it goes too far. Yeah, it usually does. There was this kid that they locked in a room and was like, gave him a bottle of, uh, like a whole bottle of whiskey. Said, or Jack Daniels. This. Yeah, like, drink it, and he died. Because, well, like... The security camera footage, like, he was passed out. Like, he couldn't move. And they carry him back into the house, and they just, like, dump him on the floor, and they're, like, kicking him and, like, taking selfies with him. But he was dead. What the fuck? Um, Are those, were those released and shit? Mm-hmm. It's on YouTube. Uh, no way. They got, but, they got but in a lot he's of just, So they're just playing with, like, a dead They don't corpse. know he's dead. But the fact that he's, like, and he'd, like, shit himself and stuff, which that's usually a sign that... But, like, being them and knowing that, like, in retrospect, like... No, I mean, it's all videos of them, like, taking selfies well, and the, kicking them and shit. Who, who knows? Actually, if, he, was, he wasn't dead then. I'm, I'm acting as if they, that they, like, upon realizing he was dead, would be like, oh, no! Oh, when they realize it's really sad, because, like, the one, there's, like, one sober guy that's watching everything, and he's trying to give him CPR, and it's really sad. He's, like, freaking out, but, uh, I mean, if you get, when you're drinking with your, so alcohol poisoning happens when you, uh... You don't throw up from alcohol poisoning because you drink, you get drunk too fast for your body to like reject it. And that's when alcohol poisoning happens. So tip for you guys and your friends, if you're getting too, if you're drinking like that, which you shouldn't drink like that. But if you, if you do and you notice that someone is 
like passing out without throwing up or whatever, or their lips are turning blue or something, or they soil themselves. Good time to, you're not going to be in trouble. Like if you go to the, take someone to the hospital. You're not going to get in trouble for help, like saving someone's it's, life. It's much more worth, uh, you're going to be in, if, if someone dies, you're going to be in a lot more trouble. Well, also, if nothing. you're underage, you're gonna get in trouble, but you know. But don't be scared to take someone to the hospital. They're not if you're gonna lock you drinking. away for. You might get a stern talking to by your <laughs> yeah. parents, but uh, it's it's definitely. I've never. I've never seen the appeal of. Uh, cause I've never like, been a big party drinker. Where like I've never blacked out from drinking. I've never needed like, hospital. But the people that drink to the point where they have to like go get their stomach pumped and shit. It's like, god damn, that's a lot of alcohol yeah well usually it's how fast you consume it too like if i've seen people when they're just like chugging straight liquor it's disgusting that is so gross do do a keg of liquor <laughs> me and my friends pull out stand with the, the keg Everclear. of the keg of vodka the keg of Everclear, which is like 90 <laughs> percent chug 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 oh shit bro <sighs> yeah but uh you know just alcohol's for losers yeah mm-hmm. for daft fools for daft punks you could say Fucking idiots, morons, dude. Especially that sake. <laughs> that stuff's sake, gross. You mean sake? Sake? Ugh. Yeah, it's pronounced sake. <laughs> you uh, I I I have uh, I'm trying not to drink this month at all. Okay. So I've gone two weeks so far. This today's the fourteenth. Haven't drank in July. Feels good. I have I have more energy. Well, yeah. I mean it. It kind of. It makes you more sociable. Well, that's like I've been sleeping few, better. If you know, I don't wake up as much during the night because I usually would drink before bed every night. But now it's like I don't wake up as much because it fucks your sleep quality up, makes it harder to go into REM sleep. Oh, does it? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's just you've always had trouble sleeping. Mm-hmm. So I've been sleeping pretty. I'm sure, good. It hasn't helped. Sleeping pretty fine. Like a baby. Like a not like a rock, but like okay. a maybe, but like but like a baby. Like a baby, yeah. You know, you still wake up every now and then. And when I say sleeping like go, a rock. I mean the country, because damn, we put them to sleep. <laughs> you know yeah, saying? we did. Back to the Stone Ages with you. Yeah, uh, sorry, Iraq. Sorry, Afghanistan. We apologize for our country's misgivings, but boy, was it, was isn't, it, it, it isn't it the journey that matters? I mean, we're still there. It was, it was the friends you made along the way. It was, it was <clears> the <throat> war crimes you committed along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't, uh, I mean, gas, have you noticed gas prices have skyrocketed lately? It's like four... 30 or 4.30. Like we need to go to war again. That's what I'm saying. I think we need to start bombing the Middle East again. Or we are under you know, Biden. Like, but hey, I, hey, guys, you know, we still have these capabilities and we need to make sure that we can secure some nice, you know. Dude, what I like is is President Biden's keeping his promises and still drone striking the Middle East, the same as the two presidents before him. But, you know, when Kamala orders the drone strikes, that is some girl boss energy, I will say. So I just love the thought of the U.S. just going into just another country and just killing people in it. That's literally just what we've done for decades. <laughs> well, yeah, but I just like just like the rest of the world. A lot of people like, in other countries don't like American thought. That's such like a fucking like you like. I picture it if someone did that to the United States, it's like something when someone flew a plane into our, you know, our, the the twin towers. Well, as retaliation for that, we blew up a whole lot more people. Yeah. But it, it's... Oh, dude, that that dude, fucking, like, day... What, was it the that same, like, day or was it the day after when we, like... We fucking, uh... We, we blew a whole area to kingdom come, essentially. Where's my phone? As it, a show of, like, so we could get the Americans happy. Oh, yeah. I don't remember the week after 9-11... I remember 9-11, but I don't remember the week after because my mind kind of threw that away. But my, my parents said that, like, that week was, like, unlike anything else because, like, everyone was, like, united. or like every, It was, like, so patriotic. Everyone was united. Uh, listen to how many... Uh, but, like, if, if someone else did that in our country, it would be like, an act of war. Oh, like, imagine if I mean, it, we China flew in and was, like, do. blowing up people's houses, yeah. you know? Like, we literally just... Well, it's because we're going to poor countries. They can't do anything back. And just we're, we're helping them. We are. They're, we're freeing them. Allies. We're freeing them by we're killing to... those those pregnant women inside that hospital in Iraq. Uh, listen, what's crazy to me is like how many, you know, people talk was like how many casualties of the Iraq war on our side is. Let me see real quick. Um, God damn. Like I see people talking about that, like we several like thousands of 
American soldiers died in Iraq. Uh, oh my god. Iraq war casualties range from 151,000 violent deaths as of June 2006 to 1,033,000 excess deaths. That And a lot of those are just civilians. Over a mil... God damn. Well, hey, it shouldn't have been so civilianized. War's war, baby. I think one of the most disturbing videos I've ever seen was... Uh, What's it called? The uh, the helicopter yeah. tapes, yeah, the, that that got leaked. Mm -hmm. I think Snowden released that actually. That yeah, because they those those came out a long time ago, dude. That that made I watched that a while back, and that for like the first time. Yeah, I I, I had watched it for the first time. Probably I was in South Carolina when I saw it. It it made me like sick. Uh, what's it? So it had to be like. What's it called? Um, it's not worth looking up, but it's basically it's like. Secu like security camera footage from like a drone strike helicopter that has like one of the onboard machine guns and uh you can hear like the radio chatter of the guys like in the helicopter back with like base and they're just like killing people for fun like down in the village yeah they, and, they, and they're they blowing comment, people up they comment on it it's like oh, look at this guy and then and, and the thing was like so the worst part of it is they lit a bunch of people up with guns and then their family members and friends like came and tried to help them and get them in then a van to them. take them to a hospital yeah. and they just blew it. They just, poof. and it's just like, it, it's so fucked up. Uh, cause they're like cheering and like shit when they do it and like, Oh, got him. And then, uh, they're they, sitting there with their Xbox controllers. Yeah. And there's a guy it's blinking cause it's almost out of battery. They're not allowed to engage. That's not how the controllers work. There's some dudes there that like, aren't posing a threat or anything and they want to shoot them and the guy's like you can't engage they're not there's no threat and he's like please let us engage come on yep like they like they were he wanted to they're kill bloodthirsty them. war changes you you should be on you know like a mission not like an i like not like an ideology of like these people bad and they must die type of mission but like you should be going like i don't know you don't aren't they given like certain tasks to do and their tasks aren't kill as many people as possible their task is like Clear the area of any host, hostile. Well, people I mean, it's or it's whatever. like with 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 war. It's what always. But they were hostile when they tried to pick them out of, uh, up and put, take them to a hospital in their van. It, it's the it's the uh, classic like demonize the other side so much that like they're all evil well, that's and just like they're propaganda, all yeah. Baby. So it's like you see the Middle Eastern people and it's like oh they're like rats they're evil so it's like this you know they hate America they hate freedom they blew up the World Trade Center let's you know so this is this is Uncle Sam's uh, revenge. It was very, uh, well, I like, I remember, like, I, <clears throat> I'm not saying I experienced, like, I, I'm very white passing. Well, you were in that, that helicopter. No, I guess what I'm, what I'm saying is when I was in middle school or high school, I think it was mainly like middle school, early high school. And like, you know, you talk about like, where are your parents from? You know, when I say my mom's, you know, from, uh, Libya, moved, went to Lebanon and that, you know, she, her, her father is is an Arab, and so they go, what? oh, you're part terrorist? <laughs> yeah. So I'm not saying, like, I experienced any racism, but there, is def there was definitely a sentiment no. of, like, you know, Mid Middle dude, East it was... equals terrorist, Middle East equals guy with beard with bomb blowing up plane. Oh, I mean, back in the, uh, <clears throat> like, you couldn't have a beard back then. Like, like you would, you know, it was, yeah. like, associated as, like, like, you better shave that, you look like a terrorist. And uh, there was a huge f trend of men not having beards after 9-11, and dude, like that was that was big in the south. Now too, beards though. are back, baby. Woo! Uh, dude, honestly, like as a naive kid, I was probably like that too. Like, like you know, seeing the Middle East as like villains and stuff because mm -hmm. that's all I knew, and I didn't know shit about the world yet. So I, I probably was like that too. Um, and I was proud. I was goddamn proud of it. You would have been that kid. I would have gone. I would have. I would have said something like, "Oh, you mean those." fucking dune terrorists over I, there? Well, I wouldn't have said that, but I would have... I've been like, Jesus, dude. You can't say that. I probably would have made my fair share of, of terrorist comments and jokes. Oh, I mean, I think... I mean, there's... I'm, the, like big, the, the popular Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. I went to go It see, was in. I saw him live. I had an Ahmed the Dead Terrorist t-shirt at one point. All the jokes about blowing shit up. Yeah, what, I remember. A wonderful present. Dude, a Wonderful you, gift. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Almost as awesome as these ad reads.
Yum, yum, yum. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. That's the sound of me super happy while I'm eating some delicious cereal. You know, growing up, cereal was one of the best parts of being a kid. And as a 25 year old man, for me, honestly, it still is. I love cereal, but I'm trying to get healthier. And you know what? All that sugar just ain't cutting it the same anymore. You know, when I was a little boy, I could I could eat that stuff up. But now the amount of sugar and food coloring and all that stuff, it's just not good. It makes me feel awful. But luckily, there's Magic Spoon. They make the bestest cereal I done ever tasted. There's zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. And also, it's only 140 calories. But you're probably thinking like, yeah, but I like my my regular cereal. Magic Spoon's the best thing you can get. It's got best-selling flavors in a four-variety pack featuring cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. They sent us a, a big old box of them, and I'll tell you what, not only is the packaging great, it tastes delicious. Ryan and I have been eating cereal left and right and not feeling like like horrible for putting all that sugar into us. Tastes amazing, too good to be true. It's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb. So click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use our promo code SUPERMEGA at checkout to get $5 off any order or go to magicspoon.com slash supermega. Also, Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link below and use the code SUPERMEGA for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash supermega to save $5 today. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm, eat some cereal, feel good, yum yum. Shopping for clothes can be daunting. You never know if things will fit, returns are difficult, and you don't even know what store to start with. This season, let Stitch Fix do all that hard work for you. Stitch Fix offers clothing hand-selected by expert stylists for your unique size, style, and budget. Every piece is chosen for your fit and your life, and it's the easy solution to finding what makes you look and feel your best. Try on pieces at home before you buy, keep your favorites, and send back the rest. Stitch Fix has free shipping, easy returns and exchanges, and a prepaid return envelope is included. That's so awesome. Try Stitch Fix once or set up automatic deliveries. You'll pay just a $20 styling fee for each box, which gets credited towards pieces you keep. And there are no hidden fees ever. Stitch Fix has styles and clothing to fit any occasion for women, men, and children. They ship all over the U.S. and are also available in the U.K. as well. Man, ever since I promised my mom I'd start dressing myself and and she would have to stop buying my clothes for me, which, you know, kind of made me upset. But thankfully, I had Stitch Fix to come solve that problem. They pick out some nice, wonderful styles for me and I feel so good and comfortable in it. Oh, I love it so much. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash super and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash super for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Stitchfix.com slash super. Hey, we're back and it's Wednesday, which means that the leaf blower is going. It's been a while. We missed the guy. We missed him. But But now he's back better, louder than ever. Yes, he he really is louder than ever right now. I was going to say my first, uh, my first GF. Her connecting this back to before we were tied. Dude. Gay gay friend? Listen to that fucking leaf blower. (laughs) My first, yeah, my first gay friend, my first girlfriend, um, her dad loved Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. And he was like, he worked for the military. So I feel like, you know, it was one of those kind of, ha ha, funny. Like back, back, uh, I don't know, it, it. It does feel a little bit like propaganda, a little bit, even though it was just like. Even the, I mean, the pepper too, you know. Well, wow. it's just like racial stereotypes. <laughs> yeah. What about Peanut? He's not a stereotype. Which one's Peanut? He did have a black stereotype, dude. Yeah, he, he had did, a pimp. Didn't he? he had a little pimp character. That's right, dude. Why doesn't he use see. those? In, does I'll, he still bust those out? You think? I gotta. I gotta Wait, see does he use those still? Pimp. What's his? What's his? Fuck! I forgot his name. Jeff Dunham, dude. <laughs> Why? How do I always forget his name? You've literally seen him live, bro. <laughs> I know, pimp Jeff Dunham. <laughs> Dude, Jeff Dunham's pimping. Sweet Daddy D. Oh God, I'm looking at it. It's like a fucking minstrel show puppet. Oh my I loved whenever he created it. Oh, dude, remember when he did this shit? What I want you to do is I just want you to look over there while I'm getting... I remember, like, watching this and not really thinking much of it. I was a kid. But look. He brings up... He made a little second character. It's half blown up. That's his son. Oh. So it's just a... 
the half blown up Middle Eastern child puppet. What's literally, what's funny is literally like as the people are sitting here laughing at this, probably right then in the Middle East, some kid's getting shot up and killed. <laughs> or like blown up by his, like in front of his family. I love that we just got to a point where like the, the charred dead corpse of a Middle Eastern child became a puppet for comedy. And I probably laughed Woo! at that. I mean, I probably <laughs> did too. I mean, I thought the Ahmed shit was hilarious. Of course. You know? I kill you. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and then, he then he brought out his uh, Muhammad puppet, and, you know, people thought that one was hilarious, too, but I'm surprised he didn't get more backlash can't find that. that anymore, you know? Yeah, it's off YouTube. He re retired uh, the pimp and in, in Sweet Daddy D in two what? 2010. What? I want to say 2010. He retired Sweet Daddy D? Why didn't we say, like, 2007 or 2006? Because it was, like, 19, but then it was, I guess, 2000 changed it. You don't want to say 2000. So say 2000, and then, because you already have 2000 on the minor, I can say 2001. Makes oh. sense. Hold up, dude. Okay. Did he? Does he still do Ahmed? I don't, oh, the dead terrorist. I don't know. Does he? There's a movie. Ahmed saves America. Jeff Dunham's <laughs> Ahmed saves oh. America. Sorry. Was an animated movie. We have Ahmed the dead terrorist movie. It's a car animated film. Jeff uh, Dunham's Ahmed saves America, and that America. is that even a leaf blower, dude? I don't know. I don't I know think... what that is. It sounds like he's running dude, a this generator. Looks... Four point three out of ten. <laughs> Get it right this time. So, uh, Ryan, what are the odds you have to watch it and then put a review on Patreon of it? You have to vlog yourself watching it and then review it for Patreon. Two. Oh, fuck off. All right. Three, two, one, two. One. That means I have to watch. Oh, fuck me, man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Shit looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I always having to watch fucking awful movies? You set the odds. Well, I set no. You the set odds. the odds. But you gave me the odds. Are technically, hey, what I did was better than even three because then at least Patreon gets some content, you know? Okay. Well, fuck. Come on, man. Ahmed saves, it. dude. It has a four point three out of ten on IMDb. This does look pretty good, though. No, don't. I don't want to spoil it. Stop. You're spoiling <laughs> yeah, I'm it for sorry, me. Dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just getting so excited. I really for liked you. watching Loquisha. I really watched How to Save. I uh, really liked watching How to S Save a Life with Steven Crowder. More like Steven chowdered his pants because he pooped in his pants. Because he got so scared when he saw uh, Sam Heater. More like Sam Hyder. High Decker. Mmm. Have you ever seen the videos uh, when Sam Hyde calls into uh, Tim Heidecker's podcast? And he like is mad at really mad at him and like confronts him <laughs> and they get into an argument. It's really uncomfortable. Good. Because he thinks that the reason Million Dollar Extreme got taken off of Adult Swim and canceled is because of Tim Heidecker pushing for it because he has so much power at Adult Swim. Mm -hmm. Also made of might have had to do with the fact that they were hiding swastikas in their television show and stuff. Oh, who was? Sam Hyde, like Million Dollar Extreme. That's good. They were like hiding shit in the Oh episodes like swastikas and stuff perfect which might have you know a lot of tv networks some of them are cool with putting with swastikas in the show yeah just don't hide it like just be you know be up be up front about it yeah i'm cool i'm down with it <clears throat> you know as long as you're honest about who you are who am i to complain exactly man Ex <clears throat> fucking exactly god it's hot outside right now there was a nice breeze this morning yeah, a nice Drew Brees, the football player, came over and sucked me off. Did he? He did, yeah. How were his lips? Horrible at giving... I were mean, they, was he, were they he's trapped? Good, he's a good kisser, but he's horrible at giving head. Okay, okay. Like, his lips are pretty nice. Um, and Does he have any facial hair, or did, has he shaved? He shaved it for me. Okay. But, uh, you know, we, we, we made out for a bit, and it was pretty pretty hot. And then he went, you know, he did a thing where he, like, kissing my neck, and then down my chest and, and belly, and then he undoes my pants, and he... T he takes out my hard shaft and he starts sucking on it. And uh, was it like a little too? Was it like going up on a roller coaster, then just realizing you're you're just going on a flat level? Yeah, field man, and I was running my, my hands through his hair and everything. There's no downhill; it's just flat. And I was saying, Drew, I thought you'd be a little better with balls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't pay any attention did to he, the balls. He did he even laugh at the joke? No, he well, he, oh. was, he was gagging on my cock. Yeah, my big fucking twelve inch penis. And uh, I got the surgery to extend it a couple inches. That's um, good. but. A lot of teeth involved, not enough saliva. Uh, kept making weird sounds, too. Your mama makes weird sounds when I have sex with her. Mm. Uh, I go, Miss Anne. Uh, and then she goes, she goes, lick my, lick my nips. And I go, mm. <laughs> Mm. 
fact that you're drinking breast milk from your mom? <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, I was watching... Uh, I, 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 I stick a crazy straw in that nip. Oh, God! Oh. <laughs> what? The one that says spells your name in cursive? <laughs> yeah. And you watch it like go through the letters, the breast milk? I, I watch it curdle as it almost makes it right through. <laughs> you gotta suck real hard. It's, 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 it's cottage like, cheese like, by geez. the time it gets there. Dude, I, I, I was watching this show, this TLC show That's called- someone right now is eating who's like, okay, there it is. Well, there it we is. always yep. come out of nowhere with it. You know? First, it was the bullshit political discussion I wish they'd shut the fuck up about with their uninformed <laughs> bullshit, and now it's there. We there are it uninformed. Is. Yeah, I'm, I'm uninformed. But, you know, I like, mean, I can't fucking say shit, have a conversation, uh, but and tell lies to hundreds of thousands of people. There was, you know, the sh on. there's the show I watched called Extreme Cheapskates. It's a TLC show and it focuses on a couple different people per episode. And one of them, they they had a baby, but buying the formula was too like they didn't want to spend the money on that so she would just like ask her other friends that are pregnant that were pregnant like can i have breast milk it's she would just keep their breast milk like in the in in their fridge and freezer like and always get more from them and like labeling she's like she likes jennifer's breast milk the most she can't get enough of it and they like four different she women's can't breast get milk enough of it and then uh oh my god it's disgusting what she does for change so like the woman the same woman when she would clean like the kid's ass after the kid shit itself with the yes. diaper, she'd use homemade wet wipes that she made. And then she would just fold them and reuse them, like save them and put them back into the oh box and reuse God. them to clean off the fucking kitchen table. Like, what? Yeah. Like, she, well, dude, they're, they're folded. You can't waste good wet wipes. Just because there's a little poop on it doesn't mean that is the that whole thing's she, bad. Is that what she said? You can't waste good wet wipes? Essentially. And it's like, she makes them out of paper towels too. So it's like, she like soaks, oh she soaks God, paper towels dude. and like cleaning that's spray fucking, shit. That's fucking... Disgusting. That, that, pee, that wet wipes aren't that makes that me want to vomit. Like but I there, won't. There's a thing as being I frugal. Vomit. I mean, there's a thing as it's like penis. Is there ever? Is that like classified Vagina? as? A, man, would you knock it off? You know how there's like pack rats I and mean, there's like hoarders, and that's considered like a mental mm -hmm. illness. Is there one for like frugalness that's to that level? Because this show looks like oh it, yeah, like but it doesn't have a name because because it looks like that is a real condition. There are some people out there that like actually like it. <clears throat> It affects their lives. I feel like there's an extreme for everything. I don't know if I, I don't. I'm sure there's a name for it. I don't know it, but like, you know, there's like, e even for every addiction, there's some sort of name. Even though most of the time it's just them lazily putting addict at the end of. Well, it, you have you know? WBSD, right? Yeah, women be shopping disorder, mm -hmm. where you're always going out and buying lots of lots of clothes, and I can't stop. I'm always I'm always wearing the 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 fanciest stuff. It looks good. Man. Not not on super mega because I don't want to. You don't no. want to look. The, the smug. brands are so high class that I would actually be served a cease and desist if I used any of their merch on our on our content. Well, it's also like you don't want to look like a dick by wearing something so nice. I don't mind. Know? I want people to know. But well, when you go out with the fucking you know Louis suit on and the fucking Alexander Wang yeah. socks and the Mark Jacobs hat, you look. I mean, the hat looks goofy, but it was twenty grand. So I mean, I mean what. I, my favorite, my or favorite. sorry, the the belt buckle was twenty grand. The hat was more. The hat was like sixty five. That was like in between. It was like sixty five, seventy five. It was something, something five. I can't remember, but it was. I don't know. I just it's just fun to wear it around and see if people, you know, look at me in a certain way to realize that I am better than them. Well, the paparazzi when they follow us uh, home from the office, they usually ditch me and go straight for you because they, they want to see what I'm wearing. They want to see. They the want to know what I'm wearing. They, they want to know every, the drip. every day. They're like, okay, what are you wearing today, Mister McGee? Look at those Alexander McQueens. Alexander McQueen killed himself because his mom died. And he was so sad. That is sad. Yeah. You know, that's, that is very sad. But it's just such a... Never heard of that. Like someone's mom dies and they kill themselves over that. That's crazy. Well, he must have already been pretty depressed. But... I didn't know the guy. I wouldn't know. You didn't know... You didn't know <laughs> Alexander McQueen? <laughs> like... <laughs> Alexander McQueen... It's like it's like for me in my head I I just picture like people having a nice dinner discussion and it's like they're talking about fashion then you you know Alex McQueen the fashion guy you know he killed himself because his mom died then it, like the forks just come to a stop <sighs> All right And also uh for uh the uh the Giovanni uh Versace actually was murdered by a gay lover shot dead in, in at his place That's interesting Okay, so uh, did you end up actually getting the the new Tesla down payment down, or like, did, did you have to reserve it, or? Derek Zoolander. Uh, what? 
I, I gotta watch two again. I gotta give two another. I told shot. you when I rewatched it a couple years later. Because the first it, time it I saw good. it, I did not like it at all. I wouldn't say it's good, but it's it's you and I saw it together. It aged Baby. better, I think. Like the jokes okay. are a little more funny now, I think, than they were. Justin Bieber gets killed. The, in the Justin beginning. Bieber part in the beginning was really funny. Okay. I don't know. Also, scenes, does he do the does he do a model face? Yeah, when he takes his last selfie, he's like, you know, remember when everyone hated Justin Bieber? I think a lot of people still do. Well, it, it, Justin Bieber went in phases. It was like. It was like the teen heartthrob that all the boys hated. It was like, oh, Justin Bieber's so gay. And then I, there'd be and he started giving legitimate reasons for people to hate him, like pissing right. in mop buckets in the back of a restaurant. Or uh, like throwing water balloons at his rich neighbor's houses and yeah. like causing a ruckus. And his deposition video, I remember watching when it came out and I, I hated him because he was so smug in it. Yeah. He was like, but there's always like know. someone worse eventually. Like then the Paul brothers came along. But Justin kinda. Bieber then turned it around and then started making music for like, Older, the generation that grew up with him, and then all of a sudden, you know, he's all I chill. I get my peaches down in Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I dude. Can vibe to it. Justin Justin Bieber, like in middle school, I I would never admit like Justin Bieber's awful. Like, oh, but remember, like Smosh made fun of Justin Bieber. Like Justin Bieber was the joke. Uh, cause I have a meme on my phone that's like, uh, um, what it's a picture of Justin Bieber, and it's like, like this picture if you see a girl, and it's just a picture of Justin Bieber. Which I think is pretty funny. I gave the Justin Bieber movie in high school a positive review in the school paper. Ooh. Me and a buddy Dallas went to go see it together and we both re uh, reviewed it. Dallas? And gave it a nice positive review. Dallas? Said this this documentary was nice. Nice, man. That's and, I, and, I, and, I, and I love Jay Biebs. You know, I, 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 back in high school, I, I had a few, I, I downloaded, I told you, I downloaded his acoustic album. The Christian It was my eye. It wasn't, a, it had one Christian oh, song right. called Pray. So I remember laying in bed with my iPod Nano, the one that was the had Little radio. tiny thin one. Yeah, that had radio on it. Yeah. I was like sick. And that and baby came on. It's the first radio the movie it. with Cuban Gooding Jr. Mm -hmm. I, I took up every gigabyte on there with multiple <laughs> copies of radio. Uh Radio but, Director's Cut. <laughs> he the there's there's, cut, there's just several scenes with him just jerking off in that in the in the director's cut. There was, uh, but it wasn't in character, so they could. No, it was it just in. it was just Cuba Gooding <laughs> Jr. back back in his trailer, just ah. Oh, finally, after playing radio all day, I gotta bust <laughs> one out. But he still had the teeth in, <laughs> and he did the voice sometimes. But <laughs> but he was just still. He would do character. it when he was coming, and it was pretty funny. Uh, but basically, I listened to Baby for the first time. I was like, "It's so good." And I looked and saw it was Justin Bieber. I was like, "Oh, I was like, gross. baby, baby, baby." No. I like I like Justin Bieber's music now. Ludacris was in Baby. That's right. Can you and imagine, Usher. like, they, I don't know, it just seems like a weird thing for Ludacris to do. I mean, the kid's popular, but it's like, it's he goes from, studio, like, being like, in, like, was he in Fast and Furious movies yet? I feel like he was. But he he was also, you know, do get back, motherfucker, you don't know me like that. You know, that type of stuff. And then all of a sudden he starts, uh... He co-stars in a, in a little boy's music video. I made a Facebook group when Did I was- Did you find that odd at all? I think if it was like his, like I want to do this, but may I think probably it was like his his label was like do this. Yeah, but if we saw this at because back when we were like around Justin's age, we didn't think because it's just like oh, big rapper got into this, got into Justin's beat. Well, Justin I Bieber's I thought it was video. weird when when Ty Dolla Signs went on Bad Baby's track. Well, Ty Dolla Signs is when like isn't he just like weird in that way? Well, he went on the Bad Baby track, and and he said some things. I and when I see weird, see, in that I, way, I like Ty Dolla Signs music. But okay. It, I thought that I thought the bad. Isn't he a bit sus, as the kids would say. You know, Ty Dolla Sign going on like, like no Tiger's sus. Yeah, Tiger's very sus. It's pronounced Tiger. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> but I made a Facebook uh, page. Remember, like back then, when you just like Facebook pages that were like soda is better than water. Yeah. I made one that was called "Like This." If you think Justin Bieber is totally gay for Usher. And uh, I actually found it recently and took it down. But How many? Uh, not a lot. I also had one that mm. was like this if you plan on never smoking pot. And? I was part of it. I you had to take it down. I, I looked in the mirror and I cried a little bit. I was like, because what have I become? you did smoke pot. I looked in the mirror and I said, what have The first time wasn't with Daniel become? and I, but event the first time you got high was with Daniel and I, at least. Well, see, the first time... Yeah, you're right, you're right. Mm. Well, I don't even know if... I could count the first time because I don't know if I really inhaled it. I was just kind of doing it for like looks and I felt guilty and called my mom afterwards and told her. I was like, <laughs> do I smoke pot? And she was like, okay. I hid that shit from my parents until they found out because I was stupid and got like a bong delivered to the house and it came in the like 
a bong sized package and just literally like, bong shaped like the cardboard. <laughs> so I was like, it's a tripod. And they're like, okay. But then of course my dad, cause he's, he, he knows when something's it's from, up. It's for <clears throat> tobacco. My favorite thing, dude, have you ever seen the video where like the mom opens or like he opens the package and it's a bong and, uh, the mom's like, what, Dick, what is this? And he's like, what, what the heck? I got, I ordered an Xbox card. What the heck? What even is this? Is this like a vase? Looks like a vase. He's like trying to pretend he doesn't know what it is. And she's like, she, she's like yelling at him. Like, I, I ordered an like Xbox card. sister filming like yeah, the like mom laughing finding out. <clears throat> or same with the video of like the mom listening to like the teenage son's like rap playlist. And she's oh, like, yeah. oh. Uh, oh my God. And he's like, he's like less laughing. She's like, you're smiling. It's this video. The kid opens bong in front of his mom, in front of his mom. Well, she makes him open it. I just love how he looks like he tries to look so... I have no idea what this is. I have no idea. Well, then give it to you. Let me see what it is. I'm trying to see what it is. I'm trying to see. He's try oh, it's on screen for the YouTube viewers. His jurors. brain is firing off to figure out like how his hands are sweating. Potentially get out of this situation. It's like a base. <laughs> he's like getting... He's like He knows that There's, there has to come to an end of him opening it. It's a base for a bunch of things. What the frick? <laughs> it's a bomb. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? We're in the Xbox card. <laughs> Alright, Xbox remote. This is a bomb. Xbox card to Xbox remote. Oh wow. I did not order that. <laughs> Dude, some people just aren't born to act, Matt. I was just like, what the frick? What I own an Xbox card rem remote. Some people just can't even act, you know. Like, he can't... Oh, I have no idea. I wonder if lying is just all... Like, that as a kid, you're just never actually good at it, too. No, parents usually... Unless you're, like, a little a, a little snake. Yeah. You might be able like to a, look like... Like a little socio-psychopath. But, no, I mean... You know, people never know when we're lying. That was real. Is or that a lie? It? Was it Was it a lie? Who knows? <laughs> Ryan it smells to, real. Oh, fuck. I'm at, I, dude, the, if it was like the one Ooh. you did earlier, it smelled like a fucking baby's diaper. <laughs> Like 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 I'm in like a fucking yeah, target. Yeah, smelled like I shit himself. my pants. Yeah, and you did it it's in my direction. You know, I can't wait to have cameras on the podcast so people can actually this see. This one's sticking around a little bit, but it's not as bad as the last one. But it's still pretty like it's like a it's like a dry poop. It's like a dry dog, yeah. oh, like gee, dry dog Christ, poop. Dude, it smells like a Come on, dude. Are we gonna fucking have to put more ad reads here then? I guess so, cause I gotta fucking okay. Get out we'll, we'll air it out for a little bit. We'll air it out. Here's some ads. I just got a personal trainer and I'm I'm looking I'm trying to look fit, you know. You look sexy, my man. Thank you, man. Thank you, Ryan. I'm trying well, I'm you know, a big part of looking sexy is staying hydrated. And that's where liquid IV comes in. The hot summer months are here and we need to be proactive to keep our bodies fueled up and hydrated. Making hydration a priority helps us feel healthier on a day-to-day -day basis and fuels us to be our highest potential. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. And not only that, but it comes in great flavors like water. Watermelon, my favorite, strawberry, and lemon lime. Sounds like summer, don't it? Uh, they sent us a bunch of liquid IV, and at first I was like, whoa, what the F is this? I put some in water, and every day at the office now, that's what I drink. Because it gets me hydrated way faster, and it also tastes really good. It's not like a medicine-tasting gross thing. It's actually really good. Here's how it works. It contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. So you're also getting vitamins, not just hydration. It's healthier than those sugary sports drinks, and there's no artificial flavors or preservatives, and less sugar than an apple. And it's made with clean ingredients, non-GMO, vegan, and free of gluten, dairy, and soy. But what makes it so effective, Matthew? Uh, well, it's called cellular transport technology. It's the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium that delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream faster than ever. It's the perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively than water alone. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates you fast, fast, fast. So grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code SUPERMEGA at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code SUPERMEGA. Mega at liquidiv.com. Fellas, fellas, if you've been opting out of skincare, I get it. I used to not care about my skin at all, and that's why it dried up and cracked in a million pieces. But the truth is most of us actually care about our skin. We just don't know where to start. If you're looking for something simple that works without being overly complicated, then try Curology. Curology makes skincare effortless. They create a custom skincare formula for your skin goals. Plus, they've got a cleanser and moisturizer that's easy on your skin and super easy to use. 
Everything ships right to your door, and your first 30 days are free. You just cover 5 bucks for shipping and handling. Sign up for Curology in minutes by sharing your skin type and skin goals, and a licensed dermatology provider can create a custom formula made for you. They built me a beautiful personalized plan. I told them all about my, my greasy, disgusting skin, and they knew exactly what to do. And they send me a box every single month filled with, with beautiful goodies for my skin. Whether you're struggling with acne, dark spots, or just want something simple and straightforward, they've got it. They've also got some other amazing products you can add to your subscription. Acne body wash, emergency spot patches, those are my favorite. So you can do it up or keep it simple. So, if you're ready for healthier skin and a routine that makes sense, do what I did. Give Curology a go. Go to Curology.com super for a free 30-day trial. Just pay for shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash super to unlock your free 30-day trial. See Curology.com for details. Ooh, I was looking in the mirror at my hair the other night, and I was just thinking about how sad I was if it all disappeared. And I thought maybe I should start taking steps to keep it. And that's where Keeps comes in. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. They have convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. They come at a low cost. Treatments just start at $10 per month, and Keeps also offers generic versions. Isn't that cool? They come in discreet packaging so you won't be embarrassed, and they have proven results. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. And remember, prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. I mean, ever since I started using Keeps, I don't have a, I don't I don't have a darn worry in the world. I'm gonna keep this this wonderful mane of mine. And if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to k e e p s dot com slash supermega to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's Keeps dot com slash supermega. Remember, that's k e e p s dot com slash supermega to get your first month free. Okay, the room is now has been cleared out of all smells. Awful. Of all awful smells, yes. Then we went out and we took a little break and we went outside and you did it again. Wait, but did outside. You, did you do it again outside? I farted outside. Yes, you yeah. did. It smelled like so fucking bad. You were going crazy out there with Wanda the farts, didn't man. mind, it seems. Yeah. Uh, we got some news. We know. have an unfortunate update regarding Wanda. <sighs> She is still v- v- well. She's, in fact, if anything, she's better than ever because she has now had three different litters of, of little baby doves this year alone. Yep. Every other year she only came once and, and had doves and then left. But this year she's been back three times. But today we came to the office and we saw that the new, because she'd been sitting there for a bit. We saw a baby dove in the nest, and we thought it was weird because usually there's two. And we remember there was one uh, incident where one of the baby doves previously had fallen out of the nest or something happened. So we had to put it back in. But he was he ended, it ended up, he ended being, up being fine. fine. And so they eventually grew up and flew away. So this is a new, the new litter. We only saw one. We thought it was weird. And I was recanting the story of how last time one jumped out, I think all of us at the same time just looked mm-hmm. down and unfortunately, was a uh, a dead baby dove. Yeah, looks uh, like little little guy, poor little guy, fell out of the nest and uh, starved didn't make or it. The fall just was too much. Where it was located, looks like it probably might have just died from the fall because yeah. it was right right underneath, and it looked like its neck was. So I, I you know I you know I I picked it up, put it in my pocket to take home. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but we're we're real sad about that. I have a uh, there should be an update on Patreon with, with some pictures, not of the dead bird, yeah. but of of Wanda and her her new baby. Um, but you know, she's so she's getting... very protective over this one. See how close they were when we mm-hmm. she's cuddling close to it. I well, love she has a lot more room now that the other one's out of the nest. I loved the last batch of doves. They looked so stupid. Like she'd be up there, and then they'd both just be sitting there, just like <laughs> perfectly know. still, like <laughs> blinking, just staring. They're so goofy looking. You were asking if if you're like, do you think that. They like grieve over that. Yeah, dude. Like, I, I bet you I could look that up right now. I was saying, I feel like animals like that just run like computer programs, just on instinct, and I don't know if they have the capacity to feel emotions, like, or to even comprehend that, like, oh, the baby died. The doves have been known to watch over their deceased mates and try to care for them and to return to the place where the birds died. It's best not to attach human emotions to animals, but it does appear the surviving birds feel the loss in some way. Aww. The mourning dove got its name because of its mournful sounding call. Okay, so it's more like, it's, yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's like 
oh no, you're dead. No, it's like they can't like process. Yeah, uh, it's but but like, it's like why? It's it's more like not even. A, I don't even know if a sad instinct. You know, it's, it's like kind of like trying oh, I to. Can't. Elephants mourn. Yep, and that's that shit's sad. Whales either. mourn. Yeah, whales experience depression. Killer whales and do- all dolphins. Uh, it's uh, animals like that, like octopuses and shit. Octopi, octopusy, very Dude, smart. John Oliver's new special on octopuses. Yeah, John Oliver. John Oliver. He has a special on octopuses. Not like a comedy special, but he had a segment or something. I saw it on my YouTube thumbnails. It was like John Oliver and then a picture of an octopus, and it was titled Octopus. Oh, I thought you meant like he made like a full documentary about octopus, <laughs> and I was like, what? I wish. I've been narrated watch- by none other than the soothing voice of John Oliver. I'll never forget that time he said Trump, and then the the big letters went phew, crazy. Cheeto hands Trump, Commander in Cheeto. Him and Trevor Noah should team up. Comedy geniuses, you know. Trevor Noah. One time on a dating app, this girl said that she really like she was obsessed with Trevor Noah. In and her she bio, got, she went on a date. Well, she, in her bio said so. I, I messaged her and I said, I said, I know a. I know a Trevor, but I never Trevor Noah. And it made no sense that she didn't respond. Oh, wow. Well. Jackson and I came up with that and thought it was really she, funny. She probably didn't get it. Yeah, no, you know, you know, women are. Yeah. They don't get comedy the same way we do. Yeah, everything's so serious because they have to like, okay, that's the thing. Well, periods, you know, you know. Women are better at multitasking, but men are better at being funny. Are that's they, just how it is. Are they though, Ryan? I mean, think about it. There's a lot to do. You got you to gotta sweep the floors. You got to clean the toilets. That's true. You got to cook the the meals for the children. Yep. And you know what? And, 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 and the laundry. and the husband. And the husband. Yes. And god damn it, dude. Sometimes when I get home, you gotta from fold a, the laundry too. Long day of recording let's plays, and there's not dinner on the table when I get home. <sighs> god damn it, that pisses me off. Yeah. Usually, first servings go to your wife's boyfriend. Yep. What you do? Hopefully, he leaves you leftovers. If you sometimes. think if you think I'm pissed off when I get home and there's no food on the on the on the table, dude, I can't imagine Eric. I mean, stop. Sorry, you just cut that out. I'll bleep it but, out. But I, but I can't imagine your uh, your uh, wife's, wife's boyfriend. boyfriend. He gets more mad than me because well, he's more macho and has more testosterone. So I think that it's natural for him to get more angry because mm-hmm. he takes uh, a lot of testosterone supplements. Um, so he sometimes he's, he gets red and he gets like very. There's times where he just gets like I can smell him from another room because it's just man musk. And uh, I mean, it's good for my wife because when he gets that way, like. Maybe it's steroids. I don't know. Maybe it's roid rage. She gets more like ri- like kind wet of a- for him because yeah, exactly. it's like it's like pheromones, you know. So it's essentially pre lubed for you. You know, how dogs. You know, how dogs like sniff each other's ass. It's pheromones. It's kind of like that. And then he'll take her up into our bedroom, and I just hear. Well, this wall's he made out of her? cement, so I don't. Does he beat her? He does sometimes. Um, but but I was making the motion. But it's of like, like with, sex. But it's like, th- is that what they're into, or is it? No, just... no, no, no. They're not into it sexually. So he's. Just but when he abuse, does, she, so he's just abusive. Well, he when he beats her, it's it's always for good cause. It's okay. always just oh, for a re- for a good reason. It's never like not for no reason, yeah. right? So like she she messed up, you know, she burnt the casserole or some shit. Yeah, something that she should know not to do. She accidentally wore mismatching socks on a date or something. You, you well. That was embarrassing. I was embarrassed for her for that time because they were black socks, and they were both black socks, but one of them was slightly taller than the other. Yeah, because it was from a different pair of socks. Yeah, and I guess she didn't notice that, and you know, took her out back to the restaurant, taught her a lesson or two. Um, I didn't get to see that. I'm not allowed to see it when he does that, but mm-hmm. um, you know, you still have to go out in like the suit and bow tie. Whenever. The sex, yeah. Okay. The sex though, the sex is is I can hear him on the sex, and it sounds great, man. It sounds so like the she's sex really is better than herself. ever in your household. Yeah, it sounds like she's really enjoying herself. Good. And it's Good him. Him. It's just a bunch of low guttural, uh, like groans and growls. He snarls. Just, he's just there to provide a service for her at the end of the day. Oh, and well, also the emotional side, you know. Yeah. You know, he's he's a he's a very tender lover when he when he chooses to be. Um, and when he when he lets me, you he's know, very emotional. Just maybe he gets a little too emotional when dinner's not on the table, as you were saying. Unfortunately. Yeah. But I mean, also with with a guy that muscular and macho, you need sustenance to sustain that level of of muscle, right? Do you, do you do you still cook them snacks for like you know the post coitus snacks? Yeah, I don't cook. You like, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed with, to use the oven. Well, do you go in with the water bottles like you usually do? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, and the celery sticks. And or sorry, you used to do, but you still do that, right? Well, now yes. Yeah, so I'll, now I, he just told me just start leaving outside the door. It's the little uh, the little mini muffins, the little mm-hmm. bites. Okay. The little chocolate chip ones. That's nice. I got blueberry ones, and 
not happy. He was See, not I happy. love blueberry. See, I do too. And I thought I, 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 I thought I'd mix it up. Blueberry over chocolate. On I thought I'd mix chip. it up for him. Like, oh, he's used to the chocolate chip. You know, this time after he's done having sex with my wife, maybe he can be like, ooh, blueberry. Thanks, man. Would he enjoy raisin, or do you think that's definitely? Oh, no-go? absolutely not. Okay, no, no. So no oatmeal, raisin cookies. Or he anything. doesn't eat uh, fruit or vegetables. I found okay. out. So, um, just actually, just meat. Um, but. Yeah, I would cook for them if I could use the appliances mm-hmm. um, that well, I bought. They used to it used to be the point where he had to use a bell, but now you just kind of like the synergy between y'all is so good that he barely has to like like maybe one little dink comes out, but you're already there. Well, usually he's usually breathing really heavy, and I can always tell when he needs something because he kind of I stop hearing that. I hear because mm-hmm. I can feel it. he's starting to get pent up. Angry. He's like, okay, where's so the like, water? Oh, where's the the, the wheezing, the groaning, the muffins, stopped. the chocolate right. chip little muffins. But the way she, the way my wife sounds when she's getting fucked by him does sound like he's doing a. It's. Do you think it, it's gonna save? It's y'all's borderline marriage? painful. It sounds. It's screaming, but it's in a good like in a good a good. Think it's gonna save y'all's marriage? <laughs> yes, it's okay. already saved our marriage, dude. I mean, I uh, on the nights, the the rare occasions when they let me uh, pull my air mattress up next to the bed and, and watch. No, I I, I don't oh, watch, but oh, they at least you, okay. they. I can, when they go to sleep, after they fall asleep, I can pull my air mattress up sometimes. And, I don't know, she just looks so happy and peaceful when she sleeps with him. It's just really, um... Most of the time you can't see that smile because they're usually facing each other. Right. Well, when she turns she, over in, in the arms. middle of the night. It's such, a, it's such a beautiful love affair. Um, and I wish that I could, uh, have a love like that one day. But... You I will. I just like making my wife happy. I, well, I mean, I'm married. I'm not gonna ever, you know... Well, I would never know, cheat on I my mean, wife. Fifty percent of all marriages end in divorce, something like that, right? I don't think that's a real statistic. Well, it's probably higher than that. Then I mean, your parents are together. My parents are together. My parents got divorced. My parents got divorced too. Are Matt's parents really divorced? Yes. Yes, they're divorced. So they got they got divorced a couple years back. Yep. While we were Dale got caught with a few strippers, unfor- Oh, I'm not, male strippers. Yeah. But, uh, you know, well, one of them was that Filipino dude, Pool the boy. little the pygmy guy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. basically, yeah, He's no, my cute. For, for those that keep talking about it online, yes, my parents got divorced a couple years back. Uh, it happened while we were making Super Mega. And I, I'm not going to say Ryan's, the things you were saying about my mom, I'm not going to say it did not contribute to the tension in the marriage. Mm-hmm. But there are a few things I've said, I'm sure, where your dad was like, okay, if he, why is he so comfortable saying these things? I do ask that... Everyone respect this because I don't want my parents to be like, why did you put that out there? And people are harassing, yeah. you know, uh, but yeah, my dad, my dad has a problem with, well, you know, maybe, with, it's, maybe they should have thought of the, about that before they had a failed marriage, you know? Yeah, honestly. Yeah. I mean, the only good thing to come out of that marriage was American YouTube star, Matt Watson. Yeah. Nothing else. What is what's your sister? Sam does do? not count as, no. a, as yeah. an achievement, as an accomplishment. No, she, she counts as kind of like a. A consolation prize if all things go south with the YouTube ventures for you. Like then it's like oh, okay. Uh, I don't. Have- I don't even know if you could call it a consolation prize because if the YouTube stuff goes south, which it will, uh, I think that always does. It always does. But I. But I think that mm, I don't. She just doesn't have that many redeeming qualities mm. going for her. She's got a thick ass. Yeah, she has a really thick ass. It's nice. It's a nice juicy ass. But I don't. You know, I just like she's not. She's smart. She's, Maybe she, if she shacked up with me, your parents would be a little more, you know. Well, she's really good at, she's what, so her specialty is finance. She's really good at finances. She works in, in finance. And honestly, uh, now that you and I are making about six million a month, maybe you guys could get together. Only six mi- Oh, I thought it was more than that. Are oh, you making more than six? Because we're supposed to write ourselves six million dollar paychecks each month. Are you writing more than that? I don't write, I don't write. I, I have not noticed. I don't even need to check the checks. bank account. But basically, you know, if you got Whatever my Whatever the email say for my assistant to do, he does, so. You know, Eddie. Hmm. Eddie. Yeah. He writes the checks for me at least. Yeah, Eddie's Eddie's does a good job. At Not that, like he he is he, he's in charge of the money, but like I just don't. I don't check the bank. I don't account. have time to go to the bank early or like to. But she. What I'm saying is she can handle your finances, and you might be a good couple. Okay. Because my brother-in-law. Do you think me and your mom would make a good couple? I do. I do. Yes. Actually. Do you think I could make her laugh? Absolutely. You make. Do you my, think so, I could tickle her fancy in the most? Charming of ways. I do think you could tickle her fancy in the most charming of ways because my mom always says it. So like, well, I'll send her like a new video we're working on. Mm-hmm. I just sent her one that's not released yet. Oh yeah, uh, a very good, high quality one. And she, you know, I'm I'm excited for her to be like, wow, Matt, like, you guys did such a good job. Or like, wow, Matt, your verse on on that was really good. And mm-hmm. it's, God, Ryan is so attractive. Ryan, that what your mom said, yeah, she said, God, he's just so attractive. And then uh, um. I showed someone else the Hooters video, and they just said, 
you know, they didn't say, wow, Matt, that's funny. You're, you're a natural comedian. They said, God, Ryan's skin is so nice. I think you're missing the sarcasm in these people's tone whenever they're saying things. Ryan, your skin is actually, you have insanely nice skin and hair. Like you got, Thanks, man. in terms of collagen and biotin, you got it good, man. You got really fucking good skin for real and hair. I don't see any problems with your skin. Your skin looks baby smooth. No, my skin is... No, what do you mean no? I'm looking at it right now. I don't see any red bumps or, or, or sc- or smudgins or I anything. I do. I do break out. I'm breaking out right here, but... I can't tell. My I don't skin, see, it. see my, my skin does get a little oily, but the problem with my skin is you have a good complexion. I have like that very pale, sick crackhead look. And especially under my eyes, I've always had these dark circles it's under my the, eyes. It's the duskiness, you know, thanks to my mom's side of the family. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> added little, the added little like sand coating. Have you ever seen a Middle Eastern person with acne? No. So I mean, that's that's that why true. you don't. I don't think I, I've ever, as far as I can remember, because every Middle Eastern person I, I meet, I not, keep a catalog in my not in my a head. single Middle Eastern person on this earth has ever had acne because not of a the way their their skin is developed uh, for the for the, the the desert. You know what? A lot of Muslims don't drink alcohol. Maybe that's why they don't break out. Hey, I don't drink that much alcohol. Yeah. Well, I doubt like all these kids in high school that like get a shit ton of acne when they're going, you know, when they're, when they're, I think, well, acne is usually the worst. It was like in high middle school, school for, like for, middle school, early high school. For me and the, the people that I knew that struggled with it, it mm-hmm. was, uh, it was high school. I actually, I used to actually the worst I ever had acne, I didn't really get it in high school. It was actually after we already started Super Mega. And if you go back in old videos, there are videos where I do have like pretty bad breakouts in some of them. And I go back, I'm like, whoa, I don't get acne anymore oh my God. really because I honestly, all I all I can contribute it mm-hmm. to, which I've been told apparently is, is real, was just when I pretty, just stopped dairy pretty much. Not like in a vegan way. <laughs> I eat nothing but I, I drink milk. I eat cheese. Nothing. I think my body's just stupid. But I've tested it. If I if I drink a glass of milk, I do break out the next day. And apparently, <laughs> you, gotta it's a real your, thing. you gotta get your body used to that god. That well, I just god tier beverage. Not by choice. I just kind of stopped drinking milk and eating cereal with milk for like five or six months, just because I didn't buy any. I didn't have it, so I just didn't. But then, uh, when it's I unfortunate, I'm, like ice cream and cheese and stuff. It's is, always a sad fun. day to know that my my friend had stopped drinking milk. I wonder how much milk you've consumed in your life. A lot. Gallons wise, a shit ton, so many gallons. Well, we almost had a full gallon in that one take when, when Two Mad came over. Woo. Yeah, that was great. You know, I actually um, so I like, I really like oat milk. Um, and it's you good. Know, nothing, oat, no, you, nothing, nothing like beats oatly. What do you like? I oatly's good, but nothing beats like real whole milk, like that creamy thickness. Like nothing beats that's, that. That's my go-to milk. And I Horizon whole milk. Horizon the the omega three D. Whatever the fuck. Whatever, all that shit. Delicious. And the thing is, I, uh... The just thing is... Just because I do break out when I when I have it. Like, I'll buy it. I'll test. I keep testing. I'm like, I'll test it. And then I, I have couples of cereal, and then, like, same week I break out. Like, on my forehead or my cheek. Usually it's, uh... Also, if I smoke nicotine, I break out on my cheeks. And when I... Back in, like, 2018 or 2019, when we did the Noob Dude... E3 shit. Yeah, the I had the cyst. I had the cyst in my face, and that was when I was heavily drooling. And then when I stopped tobacco, it just kind of went away. Which apparently, according to the Chinese uh, charts of of the face and stuff, this is lungs, and then this is stomach, like gut. So want to feel old, piss boy. Well, also one of the reasons I I was like I got stop drinking and not drink as much was because alcohol ages you pretty bad. So I was like I don't. Well, so does tobacco. And look at me, man. You look your age. I feel like I feel like I I feel like I I don't know maybe. We're all we're always the tougher critic on ourselves. Yeah, yeah, no, dude. You, like you're, but you look great for your age. The thanks, skin for is my just age. So, well, you're an old man. Ah, uh, yeah. Twenty seven. Yeah, I know, dude. We started twenty five. Feels. I'm starting this channel when I was twenty one. Right? And I'll listen back to this, but god damn, I missed when I was twenty five. I'm thirty nine now. <laughs> yep. Um, but I, I, I graduated high school like ten years ago. Damn. Yeah. Almost ten years ago. It would be in twenty twenty two. Is it going to be a decade since graduation? Seven for me. I just passed seven. Seven years out of high school. That's weird. But oat milk. I'm So milk substitutes like almond milk or soy milk. Like I'm not a fan of almond milk or soy milk. I'm not either. Soy, oat milk, soy milk is actually, the way to go. Soy because, milk makes my mouth itchy. Because it's kind of like drinking a nice sweet oatmeal. That's how I, that's how I kind of, I have it in my brain. Oatly is my favorite Oatly's brand good. But of oat milk. What I just discovered, I got Chobani extra creamy oat milk. 
mm-hmm. and it is by far the closest thing to like Horizon whole milk I've ever had. And when I eat it with a bowl of cereal, I cannot tell the difference. Okay, I'll have like, to test it out. Soy milk, like silk. I don't know if I don't know what is with soy. It makes my mouth and my tongue, and my throat itch really bad. Mm-hmm. Almond milk, it's too watery and nutty for me. But oat milk is fucking Chobani extra creamy. That shit is like that's, those, those are the yogurt. It's guys, It's really right? creamy. It's really thick. And those yeah. are the yogurt guys, right? Also, the uh, the guy from Chobani is the CEO of Jewel. Mm. So yogurt and uh, nicotine. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. But the two things that make me break out: yogurt and nicotine. Nicotine. He's the fucking. He's the headmaster of my acne. Yeah, but that's that's you know. Try if you ever want to try a milk substitute, try the Chobani extra creamy. It's very Why would thick. I when I can always have my delicious whole milk? That's true, man. Your body is obviously very clearly acclimated to <sighs> Sometimes milk. Sometimes I just want milk and cookies and I'll just <sighs> milk and cookies, man. Dude, Oreos and milk like late at night, you're it's really just hungry. Warm chocolate chip cookies dipped <sighs> in milk. And it gets it soaks, softer. It soaks it up. Then, oh my God. When you dip Oreos, do you like, I hold them in for like oh, 10 yeah. seconds. I want I, them to I be really soft. just dunk them. Like, no, I put it. I, I, don't, want, want, I don't want there to be a crunch when I bite it. I want it to be right before it's going to break off. Like, because yeah. it's too soft. Or, but I hate when you actually want to drop the Oreo kinda. in. And then you got to like, you like fish you gotta it out. You got to fish it out with your big fucking fingers. Usually. Your I don't, sausage I don't, fingers. The thought of sticking my fingers in milk and then drinking, it feels gross. So I'll just let it stay at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. And then at the end, I'll just like drink the sludge. That's oh, the. I don't like like the chunk sometimes flying back into my throat of like the crumbs and stuff left behind. If you leave one at, at the bottom of your milk. I got these canned protein shakes. Ew. And sometimes I forget to shake them first. And. Are they the, good? Yeah, they're fine. But the bottom has a. Uh, the bottom will have a lot of like protein, like that's globbed oh, up dude. and like congealed. And I'll forget, and it's I'll like be clumps, dude. Well, it's like kind of grainy too. So I'll be at the very like kind of like sand, and I'll be at the very end, and I'll just like sw- like lift it, like swig it up, and it just blows into my mouth, like all these like gooey chunks and sandy shit. And I'm like, Ooh! and I gotta spit it out. It's disgusting. I remember one of the worst things was like in the in like the high school or middle school. Well, they serve the same milk throughout elementary to high school, but the in the milk cartons whenever they just. Freeze them too much, like there, oh. would, be, there would be ice collected be in slushy, them. Slushy, like a slushy, slushy milk. Like, I don't want slushy milk. Come on, I'm a growing boy. Do you remember? I remember in elementary school when they'd read the announcements, they would say the lunch menu every day. Be like, today is peach slices, pizza, peas, and milk. Every single day. And and a, well, for us, um, the big thing food. was in a variety in in elementary school. You know, if you we had navigator the alligator. Given us the uh, the school lunches in the morning, and he kind of sound and he kind of sounded like this, or just anyone doing that type of voice. So it was just like the voice would switch out every now and That's then. That's fun, yeah. And so the big thing at the end be today we're having pizza, peas, rice pilaf, hamburgers, and a variety of milk. And it was always on that like beat, and a variety of milk. And mm. I have it just in my brain a now. A variety of milk. A variety. Dude, of uh, milk. speaking of sipping things that are gross, I just picked up the the sparkling water next to me, thinking that it was the one I was drinking earlier it's old, today. Right? It's it's pro- probably over a week was old. Was there some mold in it? And, well, the first I felt something fuzzy, physical in my mouth oh. when I took that first sip, and I spit it right back in the can. <laughs> you saw me, right? I was like, yeah. <laughs> it felt like it felt like a like a could have been like a fly or something. It went in my mouth and I spit it back. And see, at, but like, we should pour it out and see what it was. Now, now it's like there's nothing I can do about it. Can now I, I see just, the drink real quick? I'm gonna go pour it into a bowl. Hold up. Or pour it in the sink or something. I mean, no, you no, could, no. yeah, you can pour it in a bowl. Hold up, I'll be right back. There was something in there. Yeah, I poured it out and I was shaking it back and forth and I felt like a little like. <laughs> there was something in there. Might, you, have been, might have been a little fly. Did you get it out? No. I just threw the can away. I couldn't get it out of the can. It wasn't pouring out because the little lip thing was still like. Yeah, there was, was there was something in there. There was something little. And it, it, it entered my mouth. Could have been a little mold. Could have been a little, you know. I'd rather it be fly. mold than fly than a fly. Why? Because mold is a beautiful creature. Mold is mold is like fungus, and like I can rationalize that to be less gross in my mind. See, for me, like I think I would rather flies are just yeah, bugs. Actually, like flies are just know. so gross and dirty. Mag- they're maggots great, but, grown up. But like mold for me is so like if it's on a drink, it's. That fly could have been born out of like a rotting possum's organs, Good. and then like just two days ago. It's beautiful. It's the circle of life, baby. Mold the is the circle of life. life. Mold is. Uh, it consumes us all. Dude, I just got a great prank for someone like Brent. 
I'll start going over to Brent's every week for like, let's have steak dinners every week. But what I'll do is I'll get like black mold and then I'll be like, help me go use the bathroom and I'll go inside from his back and I'll start, I'll sprinkle like black mold around his house every week. <sighs> so because the, you can get to a point with, with black, with mold and shit that like you have to just like, you can't, you can't fix it. Like yeah. it's too much. Um, I saw a video of a guy that had like his TV had black mold and he's like, how, I try, how can I fix this? Actually, everyone's like, just get a His fucking new TV. Black just black mold. Well, the mold was all over the TV, and it, and it was on the inside, and it wouldn't leave. And it's like, bro. But I, th- I think we should start, dude, at, at Brent's, bed bugs and mold. Let's start introducing that into Brent's nice-ass house. Oh. Maybe that'll teach him to clean his penis a little more. Dude. How do you even do you what do you what do you do if you were like to find mold in your bathroom to clean it? You just oh, mold? mold in the bathroom. I use uh, I, there's a uh, I use like there's, there's sprays. You there's can that buy. pink ring that sometimes I've, I just use yeah, toilet that's cleaner for the toilet. But for the tub, just toilet, just tub cleaner. What stuff. I do is I have this. Uh, actually, the tenants before me left it for me, I guess. But it's it's like a spray bottle that. When you get out of the shower, you just spray it around a little bit, and it keeps mold from growing. Okay, it's like a cleaner. But like, if when if you get like the pink mold in your shower, that's really normal. You can just use bleach or Mister Clean or like any cleaning product just to get rid of that. Yeah, I mean, if, I, I if just it's, use, if it's I a just moist environment, toilet cleaner or tub cleaner, and that's it. I mean, toilets and tubs grow mold because it's just a, just a warm, there was like some wet and fancy, like not fancy, but if there was like some some home remedy that people use, I just spray garlic on it, and it dissolves within the next twenty four hours. Just gotta make sure to sprinkle some sugar on that garlic, though, or else you will see a more uh, uh, a more ravenous case of black mold. Sugar and spice here. and garlic. Sugar, spice, everything nice. What you need? I, some I, woman killed her husband with a uh, sugar water recently. Essentially, like caramelized water, or like caramelized. How? Because it was too much sugar. Huh? How did he die from it? Because it was boiling sugar water. <laughs> oh. So you know how people make caramel? Yep. We just like melt sugar, burn it. That's what she she melted the sugar essentially. And so like, it's not really like just water with some sugar grains in it. It becomes this kind of like, it's like hot sludge. Yeah. It's like lava. So yeah. Fucking killed him. Just poured it on him in his sleep. Jesus. Yep. That sucks. For him. Getting burned is, (laughs) getting burned is, is off. It sucks, dude. Burns are the worst. I, I think, uh, people were saying that when like you're making, a lot of comments in the YouTube were like, dude, I've tried to make caramel before and a little bit got on my finger and there's, I've never felt a worse pain in my life. Cause and it I sticks, believe them. man. It's like tar. Yeah. It's like, it's like a little, it's like, it's like we're gods and we just made lava. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's probably the closest shit to lava that you can make at home. Just caramel or wa- sugar and water. Put it on a on stove. Don't fucking get <laughs> hot water challenge y'all. <laughs> Oh! Hot caramel challenge, y'all. <laughs> Hot caramel challenge. That would have been a lot worse because the water will go come right off and evaporate. The caramel sticks and yep. burns. Yep. What's the worst burn you've ever had? Uh, when I put my leg on the side of a muffler on my dad's old motorcycle. Not when I fucked your mom. Woo. Yeah. No, but it was um the muffler, and I still have like a like. Oh, you can. It's barely visible, but you can... Okay, see if you can get up close. Hold up, let's see. I'll try to point out. Because it, it's here to this day. Let me see. See this? Wait, hold yep. up. How it's like a little more, mm-hmm. like, yeah. scaly looking. I knew a kid that, uh, when he was a baby, had an iron placed on his hand. It was I, wet after the burn. So, like, it like so it your body does damp. Your body re- uh, produces, like, ooh, like I was screaming. Cut. My dad, like, I was young, so my dad, like, picked me up and ran me up stairs to start put. Pouring water on it, I think. Because when you get burned, you got to put ice and shit. Like, what? Like, I think the worst burn I ever had was, was at my friend's house in, like, eighth or ninth grade. Mm-hmm. And they had a coil stove. Oh. And I leaned back and put my hand down, like, to, to lean on. And his little sister had left the stove on. Uh, and it wasn't red anymore. But it was... It was... Yeah. And I just put my hand down. And it had been on there. Because it takes a while for you, like, your body to, like, tell register, you. But it was, and then on my hand, I had the coil rings oh, like I'm that. Sh- like in a comedy film. Like in, like, <laughs> I feel like that's Dude, out of. It was my whole hand, though. I feel and like then, that's out of Home Alone. Like Marv. Like Marv yeah. puts his hand on the stove or puts his head on the stove. And the whole. Gets the coil the whole spi- The whole spiral of the coils would, like, swell up with, like, pus and shit. I just remember that night, like, try, I was asleep sleepover. And I remember, like, in bed, like, crying, holding my hands. Like, it's so fucking bad i remember one of my friends made uh made a like a hot pocket when i was back like this must have been elementary school they bit into it and like that cheese is deadly burned their mouth to where like they had 
they were embarrassed because like for about a week they had just like blisters all around their mouth from the burns. good 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 cover up for herpes. Yes. Uh, I was in a hot pocket and uh, but I was there when it happened, so I believed them. I remember their reaction was just like bite into it, just wide eyed, and they just ran Dude. to the bathrooms. Ah! Hot pocket like pizza. If you bite into pizza, if it's too hot, and the roof of your mouth, the cheese hits it. Oh my fucking! It God. ruins the rest of the meal. Yeah, because your mouth you can hurts. Feel your, like you can feel the roof of your mouth like peeling a little bit too. Oh, it, and it, and like it doesn't taste as good because when the pizza hits it, it hurts because yeah. it's hot. I had my, my feet were really sunburnt recently, and I didn't realize, and I ran a really hot bath, and I stepped in. Holy shit, dude. That was one of the most painful things I felt all year. Yo, I, mama. Bye, everybody. 